everyone. It's bright and early Thursday morning, March 4th. It's time for prayer. We're on page 162 of uh, a wonderful prayer book. And let's go ahead and get started. The refrain for this morning is, Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. Wrought. Rot is one of those words. I don't know, I'm not using rot on a daily basis, but it feels like it's a word that maybe should be revived. It just has this kind of like depth to it, like I rot something. I mean, it's, you know, the homophone of that R-O-T, rot, is, um, you know, is talking about the meaning of that is to kind of change chemical states. Um, and then rot is also a changing of states, which is interesting that they're spelled differently. They're homophones, but they seem to be related. Anyway, my mind just goes somewhere sometimes. Um, I think there could be theological meaning to what I was saying there, but I'm also not sure. Let's go ahead and get started. Wake up, my spirit. Awake, lute and harp. I myself will waken the dawn. O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. And then the refrain, send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. And now reading from Luke chapter 17. He said to his disciples, a time will come a time will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man and will not see it. They will say to you, look, it is there, or look, it is here. Make no move, and do not set off in pursuit. For as the lightning flashing from one part of heaven lights up the other, so will be the Son of Man when his day comes. But first he is destined to suffer grievously and be rejected by this generation. And again, the refrain, send forth your strength, O God, establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. The morning psalm for today is from Psalm chapter 144. O Lord, what are we that you should care for us, mere mortals that you should think of us? We are like a puff of wind. Our days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high and rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hands of foreign peoples, whose mouth speak deceitfully and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. In the evening and in the morning and at noonday, I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now the two prayers appointed for the week. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountains. Grant that I, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear my cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory through Jesus Christ, my Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose 
through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. You know, it's funny the things you think about when you're praying sometimes. Um, for those of us that have gone to seminary and had that uh, parasite infected in our brains, uh, when we're reading the Bible, we can't help but think about prepositions. You know, and what the we just spend an incredible amount of time talking about whether it's by Christ, through Christ, in Christ, all this stuff. And sometimes that does just I, I I'm reading one of these prayers and I'm just like thinking about that through at the end there, or that uh, you know that to you know it's uh, it's an interesting thing of language. Uh, clearly, I'm having a thing for language this morning because you know I'm still fixated on this whole concept of rot. Um, speaking of rotting, um, the poem for today is by one of my favorite poets of all time. I mean, she probably is my favorite, if I'm being I'm completely honest, because um, I don't know. I think a poet you, poet becomes one of your favorites when you feel like you know them. You know, like you. You know them, but at the same time, every time you read them, there's something mysterious that's there where you also feel like you don't know them. And the person I'm talking about is Mary Oliver. I feel like I know her, and she's passed away, sadly. That, um, But every time I read one of her poems, that knowing gets called into question for a second. Like, do I really know her? Um, because the poems have a way of uh, being familiar and unfamiliar at the same time, which is, which is poetry, which is irony, which is, anyway, language and stuff. Brain is wandering. Um, so this morning, um, we're going to look at her poem called In Blackwater Woods. Here it is. Look, the trees are turning their own bodies into pillars of light are giving off the rich fragrance of cinnamon and fulfillment. The long tapers of cattails are bursting and floating away over the blue shoulders of ponds, and every pond, no matter what its name is, is nameless now. Every year, everything I have learned in my infinite, in, excuse me, in my lifetime, leads back to this, the fires and the black river of loss, whose other side is salvation, whose meaning none of us will ever know. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones, knowing your own life depends on it. And when the time comes to let it go, to let it go. See you next week.